great voice, uh, great singer, great musicians, great music, great, great, great. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That helps me out a lot and hopefully that makes sure that you won't miss these when they go live. Now we're back with more Bandmade. Why? Because I want to listen to them. Also, Jake on our Discord server, he requested this one. So Jake, this one's for you, dude. We do take requests there. So if you'd like to pop in there, leave a request, say hi. Um, I will leave the link for our server in this video description. Um, if that's your thing, pop past, say hello, and we'd love to get to see you there. Now... Bandmade. This is a song called Rinna or Rinny, I'm not sure, uh, or Reincarnation, and it is a live one. I'm super excited. It looks like it's only just over two minutes, which is super short. Nonetheless, I'm expecting it to be punchy, energetic, and have a killer chorus because that's what they do. Um, Bandmade, Rinna, live. Let's see what you got. You know what? I'm not mad at how this is filmed. We're going back to the beginning because it's a short song and why not? Um, I love how it's filmed. I love the setup. I love the lighting. I love the stage and the fact that they're forming it kind of like a at, at a corner shot versus versus front on. Um, interesting start to that because when she came in with the guitar work, it was those quick little like chugs that she was doing. Um, I ex you know normally when that happens, you expect it to be like a gallop or you expect it to be a down up kept it really reserved, kept it nice and punchy. And the reason she did that is because when the other guitar came in, that fulfilled some of that role. And it's just smart. It's kind of almost having an idea and deconstructing it and then saying, okay, we'll start with it like that. So it's almost like reversing the riff, if you will, um, which I'm sure would have been the main idea for that. Love the double kick there. This drum is insane, insane. Harmonics. Okay, so there's a lot of busyness in that actually you know it sounds like quite a simple on the beat chilled out kind of like hard rock piece but there is a lot of movement there you could see the guitarist working quite a lot in between a couple core rooted notes um bass is doing what bass does uh, she just absolutely kills it every time she has this ability to move around the neck in a way that um really enforces the melody but still somehow links back to that that drum beat and, and gives it the power that it needs. Um, it's almost like playing two segments at once. It's almost like providing a percussive backbone, but also having something that is more lead oriented and supports it and more supportive of that melody. Her vocals definitely have a bit of modulation on at this point. It sounds very MIDI again. It's something they've done in the past and um, I don't see a pedal for the singer. So I'm going to assume that's been controlled uh, by the engineer. Um, but you can hear she's got modulation on that vocal at that point, and there's definitely a vocal track behind that. So they must be playing to a click at this point um, to make sure that that was in time. And um, yeah, it's just really smart. Uh, they've got the signature sound to their vocals. I really like it. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of everything they do. Come on, man. Do they ever run out of great choruses? I guess the answer is no. Um, amazing. 
it's always punchy. It's always upbeat. It always just hits that kind of like sweet spot in terms of the melody. I love it. I love the backing vocals and the main vocals and how they work together. I think it's extremely well suited. You could hear when she went into the chorus piece, some of that MIDI effect that they had on the verse has gone away. Um, great voice, uh, great singer, great musicians, great music, great, great, great. Come on now. Really love that. Um, two things to comment on. I'll go back so it leads in. Love her solo work. I really do. I like, uh, sometimes there's things you can do to take risks and there she did it. You know, when, you, when you're playing a solo and you purposefully pay, not necessarily um, notes that are off, but you're kind of drifting down that scale work and you can show that like progression. I think that was really cool and brave. I like um, how confident she is in all of her hammer-ons and pull-offs. Um, very clear. You can, you know, it's a definitive live sound, but very clear. I could hear everything she was doing there. Just a confident guitarist and she should be because she's very good. I like how at the end of that, and we only just heard of the beginning of it, it went from that full busyness of the band into very stripped back. I think it was just a little bit of maybe cymbal work. I definitely heard the bass. That was kind of the core primary music sound there, but I think there'll be vocals on top of that anyway. Um, it's the contrast. It's giving you everything. It's taking it away, brings it back again. It's this whole like push and pull effect. And with music like this, particularly in a song, uh, song that's this short, it's necessary. See what I mean about the lead. Yeah, that's cool. They do that a lot as well, and I like it. They come in just after the beat, so there's a slight delay. If they were coming on the beat, it would have been just a little bit earlier. Um, and I like that they don't do that. The whole band working together, coming in a little late, and then catching up to that really quickly. It's a nice, smart nod to the melody because I think it is quite drifty anyway. And um, come on, man. Band made doing band made things. Up down. Oh man, it's finished. Ah, oh. um, very short, but I like it. I like it a lot. Leaves you wanting more. Um, le leaves me wanting a lot more. That was a really good song. Again, you know, it's definitely in their signature style. Um, I thought it was um, it was impressive in the sense that there was a fantastic melody, and they still got little moments to shine without it feeling like it like it's trying to become something it isn't, like this overly technical piece. Um, I thought it was really smart, really good. Had nice little moments for each one of them. Vocals had its moments, guitar had its moments, uh, bass always has its moments, and the drum is just so on point. Human metronome, we love we love her. Um, they're a great band, man. I'm going to be listening to their stuff as long as they keep creating music because I doubt they're going to miss. Uh, they haven't yet. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And, uh, yeah, massive fan. Can't wait to get into the next one. So let me know where to go next, Jake. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, until the next one, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day. Yeah.